Good day, my loyal listeners. Today, I'm going to tell you how to defeat your friend by simply choosing the right order of loyalists. Do you think that only the forces of chaos slaughter everyone and create lawlessness? Loyalists also have their own special specimens that require the Inquisition's close attention. Some of them are thanks to the Inquisition. Let's talk about five of the craziest loyal Space Marine chapters. I will say right away that this is not a top list. I think that all chapters in their own way distinguished in this list. I'll start, perhaps, with the Minotaurs, who in fact immediately after their appearance established a reputation for themselves as an order that kills everyone on the field of battle with incredible cruelty. If the Minotaurs need victory, they will sacrifice their own marines, but will snatch it from the hands of the enemy. And they love to fight and win, almost always being the first to respond to calls for help from different occupied worlds. How does that happen? The Minotaur's ships suddenly appear, and the Order rushes into battle without even relying on reconnaissance or thinking about casualties. Having achieved their goal, the Minotaurs disappear as if they never existed. This chapter is rumoured to be related to the High Lords of Terror and the Inquisition, specifically the Ordo Hereticus. The very gene seed of the chapter of the Minotaurs is considered chimerical, as it is taken from a forbidden source, and they are essentially victims of experimentation. The famous antics of the Minotaurs are the decimations of the Doom Warriors and Inceptors. These guys didn't share something among themselves, and were quietly fighting, not responding to calls to stop fighting and deal with the Makarian heresy. But then, the Minotaurs appeared out of nowhere, and immediately attacked in full force, taking everyone by surprise and almost completely destroying both orders. The Doom Warriors were able to escape, and the Inceptors were left with very few. Because of this, the Minotaurs are hated and have sworn that if the Minotaurs cross Macragge's world, they will not be spared a battle. And during the Badab War, they oppressed the Lamenters, who were essentially loyalists too at the time, so much so that the already haunted by failures, the chapter became much smaller than before. But for all that, the Minotaurs are loyalists and no one is trying to punish them, though maybe they are trying, but somehow not very successfully. Second on my list would be the Knights of Blood. It's the chapter that was famous for slashing and gutting the Emperor's enemies and the Emperor's friends they didn't like for hundreds of years. Since their founding, they went on their own crusade, which ended during Bale's defense against hordes of Tyranids and the Demons of Corn, where all of the Knights of Blood died. In fact, for them, this battle was the real redemption, because as I said, for centuries they had fun killing everything that moved, and so fed up with the Inquisition, that it recognized the Order of the Knights of Blood as renegades. They said, OK, and continued killing in the name of the Emperor, ignoring official statements. And they did so for quite some time. Only the most desperate worlds accepted their help, because to accept the help of the renegade space marines was to incur the wrath of the Inquisition. It seems like you're defending the world from chaos or orcs, and it seems like you're doing it successfully. And then the Inquisition flies by and goes, oh, what are renegades doing here? And they wipe everything out. When the Knights of Blood fight, they try to stay away from allied forces so they don't cut off the wrong head in a fit of dark fury. That's a good legion for you. The third are the Flesh Terrors. That's a wonderful name for a loyal chapter, isn't it? You haven't heard their story yet? Created from the gene seed of the Blood Angels, the Flesh Terrors have strayed as far as possible from the methods loyalists usually use on the battlefield, so their help is only used as a last resort. What do they do? Well, they kill everyone on the battlefield in a very brutal manner, and most importantly, they don't let anyone leave, chasing down anyone who tries to escape. Quite often, other loyal Space Marines chapters get in their way, and all because of the extraordinarily powerful Dark Fury, which has haunted the Legion of Blood Angels since its inception. Some Space Marines become berserk and slaughter everything they can get their hands on, Thus, at one time, a company of Space Wolves was completely wiped out. For years, the Flesh Terrors have been killing enemies and seeking escape from the Dark Fury. And by the 41st millennium, according to the assurance of their master Gabriel Seth, 
The few loyal chapters dare to fight alongside the Flesh Terrors more than once. Rumour has it that after they win, they have prisoners of war go missing during their victory celebrations. Coincidence? I don't think so. Number four today is The Exorcists. This is just a chapter created by the will of Ordo Malaeus and the Inquisition in general. In terms of craziness, they are similar to the Grey Knights. Let me start perhaps with the fact that the chapter was created during the 13th founding, the so-called Dark Founding. That is, the gene seed used in their creation was classified by the Inquisition itself. Exorcists specialize in fighting demons. They are so powerful that during their training, each exorcist falls under the power of a demon host for 12 hours. After that, the demon host is cast out by demon hunters, thus preparing the future exorcist for the most difficult encounters of his life. And only 1% of space marines finally fall under the power of demons. The rest calmly survive this procedure, recover, read the 666 prayers of the Book of Exorcism aloud, of course, and go into battle. A great help to the Grey Knights, don't you think? The regalia and trophies at the chapter's disposal are immense, and among them are helmets of loyal space marines. It's Carcharodon's time. These guys would give fury to any loyal space marines chapter when it comes to carnage. Suddenly appearing out of the void from across the Imperium, where the Carcharodons had spent more than a hundred years destroying the Emperor's enemies with a particularly brutal zeal, they became the stars of the Badab War outpacing even the chapter of the Minotaurs. Many loyalists no longer see them as space marines. They see them more like creatures, but nonetheless occasionally utilize their services. Virtually nothing is known about how the chapter came to be. The Mythos, Angelica Mortis, it is a tome of ancient knowledge listing the fraternity of 20 space marine chapters. Written by the learned scribes of the Secretariat of Militum Terra at the end of the 36th millennium, states that the chapter is called the Carcharodon Astra and was sent into deep space to kill everything in its path. Outsiders, apostates and heretics, they gathered the most fearsome and cruel space marines. And you know they're doing a great job. Each Carcharodon, in addition to the standard weaponry, is equipped with a bayonet, blade or chain weapon to slice and gut enemies in close combat, taking maximum pleasure in doing so, understandably. Most importantly, Carcharodons are silent during their attacks or communicate very little through closed vox channels but usually still try to kill without saying a word. During the Badab War they almost completely wiped out the Mantis chapter and then rained down their forces on Badab's hives, massacring Huron loyalists and civilians alike. They didn't just kill the Mantis, they took the young men from the Mantis training base in the Tranquility System to make up for their losses. But before that, they made them fight each other to the death. Whoever survived would become one of the Carcharodons. Once they had replenished their supplies, they set off again into the warp to destroy other worlds for the glory of the Emperor. That's all the crazy Loyalist chapters for today. Do you think there are any other chapters to talk about in this vein? If I've forgotten about anyone, Please post about it in the comments.